believe it or not, Coconut Grove Cinema. This was a, a moving picture theater when it opened in 1927. It was built a year before, designed by Keno and Elliott, a great firm out of Pittsburgh and Miami. So it was moving images, and then in World War II, it was taken over by the Armed Forces. This became a naval officer's training area right here. And then after the war, it came back to the Grove Cinema. But in 1954, George Engel, the guy that bought the building, at the corner of McFarland and Grand Avenue. He purchased this in 1954, closed it down for two years, and completely retrofitted it into live theater. There's a large stage area, there's a small, there's a little small theater as part of it. It opened up in 1956, a play called Waiting for Godot. And it was really one of the great cultural centers of Southern Florida for a long time. Unfortunately, it's been closed now for going on seven years. Mm. They've had all kinds of problems with money, with the creative director, with the board of trustees, there's talk about the the coconut, the uh, Carl Gable's uh, Actors Playhouse taking it over. The county and state have a piece of this. They have responsibility for it. We keep hearing that it's reopening is imminent, but nothing has happened, unfortunately, in a long time. But this is the old playhouse. Tennessee Williams had come up to Key West, watched some of his plays, and he performed here. Tillow the Bank Camp was a one-woman play here. Kathleen Turner, one-woman play here. To Kill a Mockingbird was presented here. There was a reprise of Waiting for Godot on the 40th anniversary of the theater's uh, opening. So it's had a tremendous history. It's got a great design to it, too. So much of this is really almost like European, early post-Renaissance, the front of it. Coconut Grove Playhouse, George Angle. Let's go down here and let me show you another room.